have those papers with you I need to search since I had got my laptop rebooted. I do not know whether it is still there, but if I have, I will definitely share. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe the channel below. And for those who don't know me, my name is Veronica Madan. So in today's video, I have thought that you guys have to resolve some of your queries. Why not? Right? So I have invited my senior to just clear all your doubts regarding NFSU admissions basically your doubts related to MSc forensic science so guys please don't mind the camera quality because I'll be on a zoom meet with her and there will be a zoom meeting with her and the camera will be off laptop so please don't mind but I hope your queries will get resolved at the end of the video without any further ado let's get started Hi, so I would like you to introduce you to my audience. So, yeah, hi everybody. Uh, I'm Surabhi Rangaraj. I'm uh, basically from Bangalore. I've done my triple majors in biochemistry, genetics, and biotechnology from Jain University. Now I'm studying at uh, NFSU Gandhinagar campus. Okay, so which course are you like doing? In NFSU? Uh, I am studying in MSc Forensic Science and uh, I'm currently in my second semester. Okay. So a lot of people have raised a lot of queries regarding your course. So I hope this video will be helpful for them. So, so no, should no, I start no. the questions? Definitely, yes. Okay. So what made you choose this as your career, forensic science? Okay. I do not have a straight answer like why forensics, but uh, I can say that uh, I didn't want it uh, to do something what everybody else does. I just wanted to study something which is unique and different and from before I always wanted to do like you know research or something related to lab work and you know there is involvement of pure science so that was always my uh, intention so when, when I was going through a lot of courses when I came across forensics I did see a lot of application based uh, subject and that fascinated me basically so that is why forensics over other yeah. It fascinated me as well. Why did you choose NFSU and not any other college? Uh, I think uh, see, forensics is basically a specialized subject. Uh, people are not well aware about the subject yet. I think now people are getting to know about it um, majorly because of all the movies and series what we see. <laughs> Uh, but uh, so since it is a subject which needs more of uh, exploring, uh, exploring. So I felt that uh, a university which is solely dedicated for forensics would cater to my needs. And since it being world's first and the only university for forensics, I think we'll have the best, uh, you know, education yeah. given. Yeah. Okay. So let's move to the next question. A lot of people have asked this particular question. Mm -hmm. What is the syllabus for entrance exam and what is the eligibility criteria? Like who can pursue this course? Okay, uh, when you talk about the syllabus, uh, you will have uh, MCQ based uh, question paper with uh, physics, chemistry, biology and basics of forensic science paper. So each has equal weightage of 25, uh, uh, 25 marks. So you will have equal weightage for all the papers. And when it comes to eligibility, uh, anybody with bachelor's in science or it could be engineering, dentistry, pharmacy, any subject uh, can apply for this course. Basically, science background is only mandatory. So if you're having an aggregate of 50 to 55 percent in your bachelor's, I think you're eligible to opt for this course. Okay, so what is the weighted like? Um, what what has more weightage in the paper? Which, uh, see, uh, this paper, uh, there is no particular uh, subject having more weightage. All of them have equal weightage of 25 marks. So you have 25 for physics, chemistry, biology, as well as basics of forensic science. Okay, so this time negative marking is there, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Can you please throw some light on important topics of entrance exam and how did you prepare your strategy of preparing for this exam? Uh, see, uh, one thing, uh, main topics, I, if I start listing out the topics, I think one who is seeing, they might get very, uh, you know, scared about it. But uh, in brief, if I have to tell, it will be your 11th and 12th standard basic uh, topics. So there is nothing too much uh, in depth or anything, you know, too huge to cover. It would be your basics in, of uh, 11th and 12th standard PCB subject. 
So let's say in case of physics, you have uh, wave optics, then uh, ray optics, then, you know, topics like that. Now, in case of uh, chemistry, you have uh, P, uh, P block elements, D block elements, then ki uh, kinetics, um, and then uh, different compounds like alcohols, ketones, all those basic uh, subjects. C comes to biology, actually, uh, you have a lot of topics under biology. I think uh, see, ma uh, majority of forensic subjects require uh, uh, biology. So you have a lot of topics, uh, le let's say uh, evolution, then you have uh, Mendelian genetics, you have cell biology, and you have uh, a little topics from biochemistry as well. And then, of course, our DNA and... Uh, you know, different methodologies than recombinant DNA technology. Topics like these are there. And when it comes to basics of forensic science, it would be your uh, basic definitions, like what is crime, what is a crime scene, then crime scene management, then what is evidence, what are the different types of evidences you get in different type of crime scenes, how do you preserve those evidences. So certain topics like these. See, when it comes to forensic science, you have to know a little bit of your basics because uh, you're you're of course what you are pursuing this like if you're mastering the subject i think a little basics you have to have knowledge what you're getting into but when it comes to physics chemistry and biology it's very important that you study your 11th and 12th standard topics very well and prepare for the same and uh, when it comes to my strategy i didn't have any particular strategy the only thing i focused on was um physics and basics of forensic science since uh, uh, I just studied one paper of both in my undergraduation but chemistry and biology was my major subject in my entire undergraduation so all the topics what was there for entrance exam I was studying it on a daily basis so I had lost a touch of physics so I had to you know revise that and uh, of course uh, for forensic science i had attended multiple workshops uh, during my undergraduation so i had a little bit of notes which i had secured from those and did of course a little study different books that's all uh, i think I, what i want to say is um, you have to uh, there is no direct question so you cannot expect that you mug it up and then you come write your exam you have to know the topic well because it's going to be more of an application based of questions probably for basics of forensic science it will be a direct question since it's not everybody is from forensic background who will be applying but rest subjects i think a little bit of uh, basics is very important okay so at your time the paper was easy tough or moderate like what was it uh, it was moderate. It was. I wouldn't say it was easy, nor it was too difficult. It was moderate. Uh, it, the weightage was equal. Like you know, there were easy questions which you could crack it like in a minute. Like you could you could easily get it. There were questions which you had to you know sit back, think, and then you know kind of solve it type. Yeah. And but I feel that for me personally, physics uh, portion of the paper was a little difficult compared to the other portion. Could be because I had lost the touch in physics. <laughs> True but uh, apart from that, it was moderate. I think uh, it is easily, uh, you know, very um, right, yeah. A lot of people are scared of physics, including me. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, basic, uh, at the <laughs> thing, I, I always feel that this numericals, this formula, no, based, exactly. you know, that puts me off, you know. Once we understand what formula is, that's an easy thing to do. But yes. to get that formula, I, I think that is where even I felt a little difficult <laughs> in the paper when I had to think about what formula for this type of question. So as you said, you are in second semester. So like NFS, you do provide some internship after your first semester or second semester? Uh, like... For after first semester, since in in case of my, uh, in in case of uh, our batch, what happened was we didn't have uh, vacation like that. We just had two days of vacation before the <laughs> curriculum started, so there was no scope for internship. But now since we are on our summer break, uh, so people who are interested in internship, we could approach the FSLs. We did get a good uh, uh, like what do you say a recommendation letters from the campus uh, side for oh. the internship. Uh, the thing is. Uh, fourth semester is exclusively for internship and dissertation so uh, before that if we want to do any internship and we have actually got any uh, ch a chance we can do it during our uh, vacation time so since we have a the summer break was for a long time we did get a lot of uh, like opportunities and permissions from college side as well great and what was the cutoff at your time 
okay uh but regarding cut off uh, there is no particular percentage that is one thing which everybody have to be aware of see uh, the cut off is something like uh, how nfsc decides is uh, it depends upon the number of students who are applying for the course then uh, about like after you give the exams there is a merit list which will be prepared so num uh, depending upon the number of intake and the campuses chosen by different students and what are the availability of seats that is how your selection process happens so it's basically about your merit list so there is no particular percentage so overall performance at that particular year depending upon that there will be a merit list and depending upon the availability of seat you start getting placed so you do not have this particular percentage like you cross this percentage you're definitely going to get a seat there is nothing like that you have to there is this process of merit list and then you get a chance the ones who are in the top of the list gets a chance after counseling to choose their own desired campus and depending upon every campus and the availability of seats i think you will get placed eventually okay so the next one is do you have any previous year papers with you uh, i actually that was something which i also found very odd i didn't actually find any papers when i was going through i found, i searched a lot but previously when university was the gfsu gujarat forensic science university there were two three papers which somehow i got hold on after browsing through a lot of websites but um, i i don't like have a set like a previous 10 years papers or five year papers i actually didn't get any such so, i did get one or two papers but that was just helpful for to know what the pattern is so do you have those papers with you i need to search since i had got my laptop <laughs> rebooted i do not know whether it is still there but if i have i would definitely share it okay so the next one is in campus hostel is provided for your course like how many seats are allotted for your course and how it is given on merit basis or anything else uh in campus hostel is uh, available yes the preference goes to international students and then it comes to the national students uh, so it depends upon the merit of course merit basis and uh, what is the availability since see the university has uh, say bsc msc and uh, there is btech courses also so they have more priority to um, accommodating them in the hostel and then whatever is the remaining number of seats so they are uh, allocate it to the master student but definitely yes there is in campus uh, hostel facility apart yeah. from that there is mou hostels also provided yeah yeah so this might be your question as well when you were searching for this college and all of that ki what will be the placement record and all of that so this is the main question of everybody what is the placement? i i think that is pretty much there in everybody is you know everybody looks for placement first and uh, you know 100% placements but see uh, it's not to demotivate anybody but then the reality is not nfc but there's no university which can guarantee you 100% placements yes. so if you are looking at the placement chart and then be like okay there are best company so i will be 100% getting placed no matter what i perform if i am in the university i'm getting placed i think that is a very false thought you have so you have to first come out of that thought so uh, regarding placements yes there is placements available but again it depends upon your performance and since the our subject has the uh, different specializations in our third semester it depends upon what specialization you want to choose and what department you want to work in so i've uh, seen a lot of our uh, super seniors uh, at uh, delhi police and there are people working in karnataka forensic science laboratories as i am aware see uh, and uh, if people are in, uh, if they want to choose cyber forensics as their specialization you have a lot of other corporate based uh, uh, jobs uh, available so it i would say that it basically depends upon the department you are choosing for in your specialization and how good you are at your subject because the competition is not very easy you have a very good competition amongst yourself itself yeah. um, amongst your own classmates so but then there is good placements that is what i can say okay so these were the questions the people were asking and i hope so we have cleared all your queries and last but not the least i want you to share some tips for the incoming students who want to pursue msc forensic science sir uh, uh see uh, one thing i would want to say is that uh, study your basics right okay you are 
uh, of, of course, there would be a lot of gap after your 11th and 12th. But now that you have time, please sit back mm -hmm. and go through your 11th and 12th standard syllabus, right? Because see, forensic science is a specialized subject where uh, all the branches of science have a role to play. So it's not like you're studying chemistry, so you do not require physics or biology. That could have happened when you were doing your bachelor's. But right now, it doesn't work like that. So I would say sit back study your basics right keep your basics strong basic uh, that would help you not only in academic purposes but also when you're coming with your research ideas or when you're giving interviews or anything it would benefit you there as well and um, uh, two things I want to specifically say are there will be a lot of students who would not have biology background when they're coming for MSc forensic science I do have our uh, classmates who are not from biology background. So in this time, when you are, uh, you know, when you have this spare time, sit and read basics of biology. Like uh, I, I, it wouldn't be right if you're clueless because a lot of, uh, as even you will be aware that a lot of our subject has biology as its base. So you have to know a little bit of biology, at least. See, they are going to teach you from scratch, but for you to understand that the words or at least the terminology should be, you know, you've heard of it somewhere, at least it shouldn't be like something very new to you. So sit back and uh, study uh, certain topics and read because there are a lot of books and videos available. So go through those things. And for people like me who are not from forensic science background, you have to sit back and see what uh, uh, actually know what forensic science is all about. Read the basic books and, you know, study a few topics. Uh, it is it, it, it really is surprising that people are under the notion, a lot of them are under the notion of, you know, watching the series and movies like, okay, forensics <laughs> are like that. Uh, it is exactly, it is not at all like that. It is entirely different. So if you are actually looking at that and uh, entering into this job, I think uh, you'll be disappointed at the later part. So it's just that um, study the subject well understand what you're stepping into and if it really really fascinates you and you're really interested in choose it because it is very challenging as in well if fun it sounds it is challenging because you're not just focusing on one topic you have a lot of topics and you need to be aware about every single thing so that requires a lot of attention to every subject so I think when you're preparing be thorough with all these things Again, I'm uh, stressing on your 11th and 12th basics. You please do go through your basics very well. That was only the one thing which is key for you to crack the exam as well as study your uh, subjects as well. Thank you so much Lee, for giving us your time and clearing. I think you have cleared all the queries related to this course. So I hope, yeah, because during our time, I really, we really, we really didn't have any medium like this to, you know, get a clear insight. And I, when I went through a lot of your old videos, it is really nice that you are, you know, every department, you're trying to uh, clarify every department, every courses, you know, clarifications to everybody. I, I It's a great job you're doing. You so I much. really wish somebody was doing it during my time or maybe I didn't actually find much, yeah. but, but uh, it's a really good job you're doing. And uh, it's nice that you are responding to every single question everybody has. And yeah. I hope that I have clarified every question and uh, anything can always let me know and I think you're there I think you are going to clarify everybody's doubt yeah. I'm really confident if I get any query I'll come to you sure, sure. Yeah. anytime not yeah. an issue but and I, I really appreciate your work that is one thing I really wanted to put forth because you've paid attention to everybody's because I did see a lot of comments in your previous videos and you've responded to every single yeah. uh, you know query you've read through it and it is nice because I know how everybody's mindset is it was the same a year back for us too like okay when is the exam what could be the syllabus how to prepare all these same thoughts we we were going through but then we didn't ha really have a channel to, you know, get our doubts cleared. But since you're making that, I, I think it's a good job. It's a great job you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank, Thank you for giving us your time. Guys, if you have any query now regarding this course, so just let me know in the comment section. And yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Basically, I hope this was informative video for you. So yes guys, thanks for watching and thanks for showing so much love on my videos. We have completed 500 subscribers, soon to complete 600 also. So thanks for watching guys and thank you for showing so much love. Bye!
Thank you.